Hello, and welcome to this presentation of how to import a virtual appliance into the Oracle VM environment on the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. A virtual appliance is a file that includes a bundle of one or more virtual machines, a descriptor file, and any other files needed, such as certificates. Another term for this kind of file is assembly, but the file extension is always .ova. Before you can import the virtual appliance, for example, one of the Fusion middleware appliances, you must stage it so that Oracle VM can locate and acquire the file. Oracle VM supports HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP protocols for the import server. Import to a repository virtual appliances folder. A file extension check helps make sure you import a virtual appliance. Optionally, you can launch the appliance virtual machine or machines immediately following the import. Let's see how to import the virtual appliance. Start by navigating to the Repositories tab on the Oracle VM Manager console. Then select your repository, and there, select the Virtual Appliances folder. In this view, you see there are currently a few appliances present. Now, Click on the Import Virtual Appliance icon. In the dialog box, enter the URL for your virtual appliance server. We use an HTTP server without SSL internally. Enter the address of your proxy server if you're using one on your network. If you want to deploy the VM immediately, click on the Create VM checkbox. Server pool selection does not matter for this operation and click OK to start the download. Monitor the import operation by expanding the job summary pane on the Oracle VM console interface. After the import operation completes, check the status by looking at the job details. Click Close after reviewing the information on this pop-up display. Click on the small triangle to see the virtual appliance file details. There is one virtual machine, and if you hover the mouse over the visible name, you can see the full name appear. Click on Virtual Appliance Disks to see the configured storage. Now click on the pencil icon if you want to edit the name and description. You can change the name to something more user-friendly if you want, and you can edit the description value too. We'll click Cancel at this time. This virtual appliance is now ready for deployment in the Oracle VM virtualization environment on the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. This ends the demonstration.